Hello and welcome. This is Cheryl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day eight of the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. If you haven't watched any of these videos yet, I have a whole playlist with days one through seven. And if you don't want to watch day eight yet or don't want to see what's in there, pause this video, save it to watch for later because I'm going to open it and then I'm going to create something with what is whatever is in the window for day eight. So it is a cute little die set that has a vase, some stems, some, a flower, and some leaves. So I took this die set, I took, went and die cut a bunch of things off screen, but I'm going to lay them out here so you can see exactly what is in here. So we have this nice vase. There's a couple different stems to choose from. Some of them are meant for the leaves, but you could easily use them for the florals as well. I think this flower, it really looks like it's supposed to be a daffodil. They're not really my favorite flower, but I love the look of the ones that are supposed to be pink. I've never actually seen one in real life. So I die cut those flowers out of pink sand cardstock, and then I die cut the center out of Dahlia cardstock. I wanted my greenery to be nice and bright, so I cut that out of peridot cardstock. And then my vase, I just cut out of some fog cardstock. So I did want to do a little bit of ink blending on these just to give them a little bit of extra visual dimension. So on the leaves, I did some mowed lawn. On the vase here, I'm doing some hickory smoke. I have all of these die cuts on my Alta New sticky mat and it's definitely making it a lot easier for doing this ink blending. On my lighter colored die cuts for the florals, I'm using some saltwater taffy distress ink. I'm going to do a little bit of that distress ink on the either end of my little word banner here. This is from day four and it's just the sentiment banner. I wanted to give that a little bit of dimension as well. So I used the saltwater taffy first and then I'm going to use the worn lipstick. On the darker parts of the flowers, I'm also using that worn lipstick. I'm using the detailed ink blending brushes for the florals and these smaller pieces. And I'm just using regular ink blending brushes for the leaves and the vase. I wanted to give a little bit of texture to the background, so I'm using a Flourish embossing folder. It's going to be still white, I'm not inking it or anything, but it'll give some nice texture to that background. Any embossing folder would work with this. This is the one that I chose to work with. I'm using Dahlia cardstock for my mat as well, and you can see that I'm doing a couple layers behind my sentiment, and I chose to use that Dahlia cardstock so that when I see peeps of it or little glimpses of it through that sentiment, you see that darker color. So I decided I might as well glue my mat as well as my embossed piece to my card and have that drying to the side while I start to assemble my flowers. That way it's gonna be good and ready once I'm ready to assemble everything. So first I'm gonna assemble or add my banner to those solid mats behind there and let those sit and dry. And then I'm going to assemble the flowers onto the stems. Now, when you die cut the stems, they all go one way. You can leave them like that, or you can flip one over so you have a flower tilted another way. The other option is to leave them the way they're meant to be, and then just tilt the flower, make it look like it's meant to be flipped the other way. I always like them when the florals are facing different ways because I think it looks a little bit more natural. For some of the smaller pieces, I'm using some reverse tweezers to hold the pieces while I add the glue to them and then put them in the centers of those flowers. Especially with some of the pieces, it's too hard to hold it and get glue on it without getting the glue all over your fingers. So these reverse tweezers really come in handy. The inside of the florals have actually three pieces to them. There's the base piece and that's the one that I inked. And then there's one, it almost looks like, um, like a crescent shape, a little bit wider crescent shape that goes in the front there's also an oval that you can put on the top of that one for the center of the flowers I chose not to do that one I chose to just ink the bottom one I thought it would look a little bit more natural this way so the short little stems are meant to use with the leaves I dropped one after I was die cutting and I couldn't find it on the scraps on the floor you'd think with a, such a bright green it'd be easy to find I don't know where it dropped so I'm taking the stems. I have three stems here, but I'm just putting two leaves on one of the stems. That way they're not going to waste at all. So to glue my flowers to the vase, I'm just putting the glue on the bottom half of that stem, and then I'll just press the vase on top of it. 
Now I want these flowers to be a little bit tall. You can make them as tall or as short as you want. Because I have the whole area from my card, I wanted to fill that space up a little bit more. So I chose to make them tall. And that way when I go to put my leaves on there, I can have a few leaves in front or below them and one leaf behind it so that it looks like there's some leaves behind the flowers as well. Now I like to use liquid glue when I glue everything together. It just gives you a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of time to move and shimmy everything. Um, it dries fairly quickly or it starts to grab the cardstock anyways fairly quickly. So I will, I will typically put an acrylic block on there just to hold it down flat while that glue dries and or while that glue starts to set and grab. It just frees up my hands to work with other things as well. Now I did glue that one leaf behind there, but because it had just been glued behind there, it wasn't totally set yet when I wanted to put my flowers on my embossed background. Not a big deal. Once I have those flowers down, I can easily tuck it behind there. And then I just put that sentiment right over the vase there. I absolutely love the way these flowers look. Just a nice different variety. These would also be adorable with that bee as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. I will see you tomorrow and we'll see what's in day nine.